Jennings down low on the track leads. Coming through is Shane Roycroft into second place. And around the outside goes Anthony Bear back into second. They're safely through the first two turns. Jennings out in front. On the inside is Shane Roycroft. Right there with him is Anthony Bear as they move down the main straight the first time. It's Jennings, Bear, Roycroft. They're back to Clark in fourth place. Diving ball on the track there was Dan Drew and Matt Nelson is sixth. Anthony Bear is having his troubles with Roycroft as they go down the back straight. The pair of them right behind the 21 car of uh, Jennings into the main straight. Roycroft might be in front. He is. He hits the front. They're three wide down the main straight. On the outside, Anthony Bear. Shane Roycroft down low. Bear running the concrete. Back in third place is Jennings. And Anthony Bear hits the front. I've said that about 15 years in a row. Down into second place is Roycroft, who fights back on the inside. Into the main straight, it's Bear just getting around Roycroft. Back then to Jennings in third. Clark fourth. Back then in fifth place is Nelson. It's been run at a breakneck speed. Back in sixth place is David Barry, then Truett. Troy Russell is next. Hayden Norman in ninth place. Back then to Jamie Locker. Looks like McDan's in 11th. They come out of turn number four. Anthony Bear starts to open a gap. Back then to Roycroft in second. Jennings is third. Back then to Mick Clark in fourth. It's a freight train as they move down the main straight. They're three wide for fifth place. Coming underneath now is the 151 of Troy Russell. And that's where it's ended. We've got yellow lights. We've got to pile up over on turn number two. 36 laps on the counter, they're away, and Bear automatically opens up a 3-4-5 car length advantage. Oh, Roycroft hit a rut down there and threw himself right around. The yellow lights have come on. Away and racing, down the main straight they come. Down into turn number one, it's Bear in front, Jennings in second place, Clark, then Nelson. As they move out of turn number two, where's the first move coming from? Nelson's under pressure from the fifth place car of David Barry. Back then to Troy Russell in sixth. And then we've got Dan Druitt in seventh. Out in front, it's Anthony Bear who leads. It's a cracking 18 6 9 2 this time around. Back in second place, Jennings. Back in third place, Mick Clark. The lead two cars have split the scene. Clark in third place. Mechanical defect flag going into Shane Roycroft. He's got a flat tire. He's gone. And that's rotten luck for Shane Roycroft. Out of three and four. Our race leader is Anthony Bear, Jennings, down here is Reese Heinrich, behind him is Jamie Locke, then we've got to Hayden Norman, they're two and three wide as they come through the field for the minor placings, and Troy Russell's under enormous pressure from uh, both sides now, Jamie Locke's there, Reese Heinrich's there, they're three and four wide out of Pitts Bend, behind Mick Clark, they are four wide in the main straight now, as Reese Heinrich tries to get between Jamie Locke and Troy Russell, Troy, Ru Troy Russell goes underneath a Mick Clark, that's uh, Jamie Locke trying to go underneath of Troy Russell at the same time. And Reese Heinrich goes around the outside of Jamie Locke, comes up behind the 48 of Mick Clark. Our race leader's gone once again, 29 to go. He's 2.7 seconds in front. So moved down into turn number one and two yet again. Anthony Bear clear. Back in second place, it's Mark Jennings and David Barry. Troy Russell is up there, and on the outside of him comes Reese Heinrich, tucks in behind him now. Jamie Locke is in that group. As so they come out at three and four, Russell goes down low. Heinrich comes up on the outside yet again. Down into turn number one and two. Russell down low as David Barry now comes up underneath of the 21 car of Mark Jennings and goes into second place. But Anthony Bear is nearly two seconds in front. 26 laps to go here in the national final. Second place is that of David Barry. On the outside is Mark Jennings. Back then to Reese Heinrich in fourth place. On the inside of him is Troy Russell. Back then to Jamie Locke in the next car. Then we've got Mick Dan in that lead group. And on the outside of him, it would be uh, Michael Clark. Then we've got Hayden Norman, Matt Nelson, and Darren Giacometti as they move out of turn number three and four and down the main straight. Nathan Russell will be the car after that. Troy Russell, meantime, is still having a titanic battle for the minor placings with Reese Heinrich, anybody's guess for the minors, second, third, fourth and fifth as they head down the back straight, Mark Jennings gets set off course after contact there with the second place car of David Barry, around the outside comes uh, Troy Russell, Mark Jennings is in a lot of trouble, in fact Mark Jennings could be out of the race, the yellow lights have come on and we've got another stoppage. 24 laps left on the time board. Russell dives down low around David Barry, comes again. Back then to Reese Heinrich and Mick Dan, a gap opening up then to the next car, which looks like it could be Matt Nelson. Hayden Norman's up there in seventh place. So move out of turn three and four. Giacometti comes underneath and Norman, and so too does Mick Clark. 
as Anthony Bear continues to lead. Back in second place, it is Troy Russell on the outside, David Barry, back then to Reese Heinrich and the 129 of Mick Dan. Those four having a tremendous battle for the minor placings, but Anthony Bear leads by one and a half seconds as he crosses the line. Barry in second place. Reese Heinrich now comes up on the outside of Troy Russell, and right there with him is Mick Dan. A tremendous battle for the second place. Four of them across the track in two rows of two, and it could come into uh, could come undone very quickly indeed as they move out of turn four. They're three wide into the main straight. Our race leader is the one of the 46 of Anthony Bear. Barry in second. Troy Russell third. Mick Dad up to fourth now. Reese Heinrich back to fifth. Back then to Nelson in sixth place. Hayden Norman the Lone West Australian is seventh. Back then in eighth place is Jack Abetti. Then Mick Clark. Nathan Russell is 10th, Jewel Reichstein. Uh, Nathan Barbler's up to 13th and Travis Hutchison 14th. And then there's Dan Druitt and Brad McClure at the tail. But they are a long way behind our race leader. He's 2.7 seconds in front. David Barry goes back to second place. Troy Russell goes back to third. Mick Dan right there along with Reese Heinrich. They've got 20 down and 20 to go. Now it's 19 to go as they come into the main straight. Barry persisting right on the outside concrete wall. In the middle of the track or even lower is Troy Russell. Russell back to second place, Barry back to third, back in fourth place, Mick Dan, three car lengths back then to Reese Heinrich. Matt Nelson is next, Hayden Norman is underneath of him now. Back then to Jack Amedi as they come into the main straight, Hayden Norman runs wide and uh, now Nelson goes back underneath. Back then to Jack Amedi. Meanwhile, Russell's back to second place, Barry's back to third, maybe back to fourth as Mick Dan poked the nose underneath. Uh, Barry fights back on the outside. Mick Dan down low on the track. Back then to Reese Heinrich as Mick Clark has retired in the 48 car. So the race order with a 17 to go is Bear, Russell, Barry, Dan, Heinrich. Nell side on the outside, Mick Dan. On the inside on the next row behind them is Reese Heinrich and David Barry. Back then to Matt Nelson, David, uh, then Darren Giacometti. And then we have Hayden Norman. Here's our race leader starting to lap traffic. The first of those will be Hutchison. We'll watch that with interest. And back then to Brad McClure the next one but here's our second place car some 6.4 seconds behind out in second place it's Troy Russell third place Mick Dan on the outside David Barry the inside is Reese Heinrich a brilliant battle for the minor placings this is tremendous stuff our race leader is long gone he's just going through like a hot knife through butter Russell second Dan third Barry fourth Reese Heinrich is still there um, Travis Hutchison is up high on the track. He's got panels hanging off the back. He's up against the wall. They'll go underneath him now. There's the passing flag out. It's going to be out there for quite a while, I suspect. Our leader's gone through again. He's got 11 to go. Here's the battle for the miners. They've got past the lap traffic. It's still Troy Russell in second. Dan third. Barry up against the fence. And, and the former national champion is O-U-T out. Russell. Mick Dan in third place. What has Troy Russell got for Anthony Bear? Oh. I think we've had a power failure here with a couple of the track lights. The yellow lights have come on. We have. We've had a power failure. Some of the track lights have gone out. Cars will circulate for the moment. Emergency response groups will go in, the local track emergency response will go into activation here. Maybe some dirt has hit one of the wires. From Dan, Barry, Giacometti, Norman. Nathan Russell in the top six. Giacometti comes underneath of Dan and Barry goes into third place. Giacometti coming underneath of him now. Back then to Reichstein, Barry, and also in that group, Nathan Barbler. Then Nathan Russell, Jason Jewell, and Brad McClure. The race leader has three laps to go. He's about to create history yet again, becoming the first driver to win it five times. Our race leader is Anthony Bear. The race is a tremendous one for second place. Those that are left, Dan, Giacometti, Reichstein, Barry, and Nathan Barbler. Two laps to go, ladies and gentlemen, for our race leader, Anthony Bear. Second place is Dan. Giacometti is next. Then Reichstein, Barry, and Nathan Barbler. Anybody's guess for the miners. White flag coming out. 
We want you all up on your feet next lap around because we are witnessing history yet again. Reichstein and then Nathan Barbler. But come on, ladies and gentlemen, everybody up on your feet. A five-time champion of street stock, never done before. Anthony Bear across the line wins again. The defending champion defends well. Mick Dan is second. Jack Ametti third. Fourth place goes to Reichstein and fifth place to Nathan Barbler. A great drive by him. Then David Barry, Jason Jewell.